everyone. So before you watch this, I just want to let you know that the video you are about to see is of Mother's Day, and this was filmed before the video I most recently posted addressing everything. And I also wanted to let you know that um, I've really enjoyed sharing my life with you every single day over the past few months, and I plan on continuing to do that because it brings me a lot of joy, and I love you guys a lot. So uh, I just want to let you know that's my plan, and I hope you enjoy my Mother's Day video. Here you go. Happy Mother's Day to any and all mothers out there or anyone who has been a mother figure to any human ever. Thank you so much for being amazing and I just love moms. Moms are the best. So happy Mother's Day. This is a weird one. We're quarantined. Normally on Mother's Day I would love to see my mom and see Jessica and Rachel. She's a mom of dogs. You know, my family, every holiday is an excuse for my family to hang out and get together. So this is a, is a rough Mother's Day, but we're gonna make the best of it. We don't have any plans, <laughs> but I'm excited. I just hang out with my kid and my husband and my best friend and my pets. Tell your mom you love them, even if it's not Mother's Day. But today, it is Mother's Day. Let's go downstairs and see if the boys are up too. Happy Mother's Day! What's all this? Flynn, did you pick these? Did you pick these, baby? You smell it? <laughs> Pretty, thank you, baby. <laughs> I know his hair is very Karen. Look at this. There was even a bug on it. <laughs> this one. Oh, I see a hand. How hard was it to get his hand? Think about these this morning. <laughs> oh, my 7 oh my god. Oh my god. I like the truck. Flynn, yeah, look at that signature. hand. Yeah, Flynn's signature looks great. Good job, baby. You eating a PB and J with Daddy's bread that he made? Yeah, bread. I love my box. We love mama. A pizza peel? Yay, this is exciting. We make bread all the time. Thank you, Flynn. Oh, this is a scraper thingy. Flynn, there's a present for you in here. Oh, yes. Goldfish crackers. Yummy. We got crackers, some M&M's. Keyboard. Mm-hmm. Do you want one of these, Flynn? There's a lot of stuff in here that if I pull it out right now, Flynn will be very upset that he's stuck in high chair. There's some dar dars on here, guys. Oh, it's an apron! This is fancy. Looks like I'm about to go build something. This is a fancy one, love. I feel like I'm gonna go work on a horse. That's how fancy it looks. This is awesome. Thank you, lovey. Because I'm cooking all the time, Flynn. Thank you. How's it look? Really cool. Check it out. It is cool. It doesn't look like, what a kind of apron does it look like to me? A welder type of person. That's what I'm thinking of. Like someone who like well, burns like glass. Like Super cool. Thanks, lovey. For our master So shop. you think I just am well, supposed to stay in the kitchen? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it's super cool. You enjoy cooking a lot. I love cooking. We cook every day. I love it. Thank you. Thanks for all this cool stuff. My sister also texted me and said she had a present for me on the front porch. Okay. We have. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. I miss my sister. Why doesn't she come over and sit in the driveway and you guys like talk from? She probably would. I'm sure she would. Hand sanitizer. Sugar. Sugar butter flour. Brown sugar butter flour. Oh, brownies. <gasps> Chocolate. Yes, to these. Oh my god, this is all amazing oh, stuff. Spicy. <gasps> Chocolate! He's getting so excited about everything. Oh, I thought I should say that. Yum! M&M's! Oh my god, this is my fantasy. All these cooking things and my plates that I gave her a cake on for her birthday, a vegan cake, and then her dog ate it. He's okay, don't worry. This is so sweet. I've got all my favorite is cooking things for Mother's Day. Now I can wear my cool apron, make a pizza, make some bread, and make some, um, bake some yum things. What a day. Oh yeah, this is, my best present is a present for Flynn. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 
Which one do you want? Yellow. Yellow. Always yellow. He loves yellow the most. Good. What you got, baby? Good. Can you say thank you? Good boy. It is the best present ever to have something to give to him that gets him excited. You have one more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, do you want to this one? Uh, so the construction trucks. That is so cool, Flynn. We're matching. Eric's FaceTiming with his mom right now, so I'm gonna be quiet. But I have to use my new stuff, and since I got a pizza a thingy and dough scraper and an apron, I'm gonna make pizza. I've used a few different recipes, and this pizza dough recipe is my personal favorite. It doesn't require a lot of rising. It's a cup of warm water, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of active dry yeast, and you mix those together and let them bubble for five minutes. And then you add one tablespoon of olive oil and stir that, and then you add two cups of flour, stir that together, and also a, a teaspoon of salt. Mix that all together, and you knead it for a little tiny bit, not too much, and you let it rise for 30 minutes. Then you roll it out, poke it with a bunch of forks. Not a bunch of forks, you poke a bunch of holes with a single fork. You don't need to use a lot of forks. And then you put on your toppings and you put it on a pizza stone in the oven. That recipe is so simple. It's just water, sugar, active dry yeast, olive oil, flour, and salt. Super easy and it's my favorite pizza dough recipe. I've tried a few different ones during this quarantine and there's even a video of me on this channel being like how to make pizza dough or making pizza from scratch and that's a different recipe than this one. So if you want to try to make pizza, it's very easy. Let's do it. I'm going to use a big bowl because I'm actually going to double the recipe because that pizza dough recipe makes about, it's like one big pizza. You could split it into two little ones, but I wanna make three pizzas, or maybe I'll make, <gasps> I'm gonna make two small pizzas and breadsticks. <gasps> I love Mother's Day! Do two cups of warm water, that might be a little too hot, so I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. So I'm gonna sprinkle in my yeast and my sugar, and I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and get frothy, and then add my other ingredients. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna put my spatula in my apron. I'm gonna cry again. So we've been taking the quarantine really, really seriously. I know a lot of people are doing like social distancing visits with people. We are really, really trying to do our part because we're able to, not everyone is able to. We are able to stay at home and not leave. And so we haven't seen anyone in my family, like we haven't, Anyway, I asked Eric, I was like, hey, let's talk about this. Like, what if my sister came over and she came through the side yard, she didn't come in the house, we stayed 10 feet away from her. And while Flynn is playing in the pool, like she can sit in a chair 10 feet away from us and we can just like hang out and talk. And he was like, I think we could do that. I'm gonna cry, I'm so excited. I know it's so lame and I'm so lame for like getting emotional about it, but like I miss my family so much. So I'm really, really excited. I get to see my sister and hang out with my sister today. I'm so excited, best Mother's Day ever. So, our yeast water mixture is frothy. So now I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil, my flour and salt. I'm just gonna kind of fold together and then eventually I'll knead it. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of extra flour in there because it's pretty wet. I'm gonna get my hands floury and pick up the dough. I need you to come oil this bowl for me. Yeah? Yeah, and then, because it's gonna rise in here, you don't want it to stick dough in there, and then you're gonna put it in a warm place and let it rise for 30 minutes. <gasps> Hello! My dough is here! I still love oh, the She's gonna unlock the gate for you to come around the back. Yay, I love you! I love you, you don't want to see it. Do you wanna see it, Rachel? Rachel. Rachel. Rachel's in the backyard! Yay! <laughs> that's Aunt Rachel! Aunt Rachel! I know, that's Aunt Rachel! He hasn't seen people in like three months, so he's like so confused. It's Aunt Rachel! <laughs> Look, my sister's in my backyard! So I'm losing Flynn's in the pool with Eric, and I'm just happy to see my sister. It's weird not being able to get close to her, but oh well. Um, my dough rose. It rose all the way to the top of this. I just crushed it down. And now I'm going to make some garlic knots, and then I'm going to use the rest of the dough and make pizza. I'm very excited. I'm gonna get food. So if you want to make garlic sticks or knots or anything like that, I, I've never done it this way, but this is how I'm gonna do it today. I press down a rectangle of dough, and I'm gonna slice these in little strips and make little garlic knots out of them. I just bought a new rolling pin, and I lost it. Now I'm rolling up a crust. I like a thick crust. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna now take my pizza stone out of the oven and finish this on the pizza stone because pizza stone is boiling hot and I like for it to start to cook before I put it in the oven just because then I can ensure that the bottom will get done and I don't like it when the bottom of the pizza is doughy. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Pizza and knots, yum. I made a couple of the knots vegan for my sister and she said they were delicious, so. I'm a chef. You can make them vegan very easily. You just use vegan butter instead of regular butter. That's all you have to do. Oh, by the way, after I took the garlic nuts out, I put melted butter and garlic and parsley on them. So anyway, moving on. Oh, it was so lovely to see Rachel, but that was so weird. First of all, it was weird to see her again, but also it was weird seeing how Flynn reacted because Eric and I have been talking about this, this whole quarantine, like how is this going to affect our son who's a baby? He's an impressionable stage of his life. He's like a little sponge, but he also doesn't have like, he's not gonna have really memories from this time. He's too young to have memories. So we're like, is he gonna remember our family? Is he gonna remember hanging out with other kids and what it's like to socialize? And is he gonna have attachment issues because he's around us 24 seven now. Whereas before this, I would go work and Eric would go work and other people would hang out with Flynn and now it's just me and Eric and Corey 24 seven. And so we're like, is he gonna have attachment issues with me and with Eric and like, will he be freaked out by other people? And I was really stressed about this and Eric's like, I don't think it'll be an issue. I think he'll remember the people he remembers. But he was freaking out about Rachel. He was confused and he knows who she is because we'll show him pictures of Rachel and he'll go cho cho. Like he knows, <laughs> he knows who Rachel Rachel is so it was really weird to see him like be uncomfortable and confused by another person in his space he eventually warmed up to her I mean he didn't go near her obviously no one went near her but he eventually warmed up to her and was like comfortable playing and being around her and it wasn't anything against her like she's a sweetheart and she's it's not like she's scary or anything it just he hasn't been around other people in so long and Eric and I were just talking about it and Eric was like it's so weird because this is a kid who slept more in hotels than his own home for the majority of his life he's just been on tour with me, he lived on a bus with me, he moved to New York with me, we've traveled all over the country together. I mean, this kid grew up in hotel rooms like his whole first year of life. And he was around people 24 seven, new theaters every day, um, people in airplanes, people in airports, different cities. Like, I mean, it was, this kid just was a little travel kid. And so it's so weird that now he's turning into like a little hermit crab because of the quarantine. And I'm just so curious how long that will last. Will that have a lasting impression on him for the rest of his life? Like, will he always be like weary of new people and socially uncomfortable or will this just be a phase and then once the quarantine is lifted like will he quickly like it's riding a bike and he'll get back into being social and like not being shy and scared of new people I don't know it's so weird it's so crazy to have a little baby during this we are at the park and I had an idea I was watching my Mother's Day video that I posted a year ago and I wanted to recreate it um, and I want to recreate it every year and like do a cute Mother's Day video every year to see how he's grown so that's why we're here for the same park we were last year so I'm very excited about this. Eric is jumping and Flynn's trying to copy him and it's hilarious. You try Flynn, can you jump? Good jumping. Good jumping buddy. Can you jump? Jump Flynn, jump! Good jumping. Good Whoa, jumping, good buddy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is that fun, baby? Crazy to see my baby on the bicycle. They hit us back on bicycle. That's so cool. Whoa, baby. Are you a froze toes? Are you a froze toes, Flynn? That is wild. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, I started editing 
the video that I want to post for Mother's Day. Last year I posted it on Mother's Day. This year obviously I'm not going to, but I'm going to try to post it tomorrow. But I had to go through all this old footage from the last year and like, wow, I can't believe how much has happened in a year and how much life has changed. Like just touring all the time and traveling so much and like so much has happened in the last year and now just being quarantined. Like it's just crazy how much life has changed. It's insane. But that little kid has been through a lot and we've been through a lot together and it was like making me cry and emotional. All right, I'm cooking ribs in the crock pot for dinner. They're almost done, but not quite. So I'll work on the other stuff while this is finishing up cooking. I made myself a Mother's Day feast. We have crock pot ribs, mac and cheese, broccoli, roasted potatoes, and bread. Yum. Ugh, so frustrated now. I'm trying to edit this Mother's Day video that I shot today, and my computer is going so slow. Like, this is such a quick edit. This should be a quick edit. I should have been able to finish it in like an hour or two, but my computer is going so slow that it's taking me hours and hours and hours like for some reason my final cut is just like being a total butthole and keeps giving me that spinny rainbow wheel of death so like it is taking it's now 1 30 in the morning and this should have taken literally this should have taken me an hour or two i should have been done with this hours ago but i can't every time i try to finish it it like gives me the rainbow wheel of death and then crashes and oh, i'm getting so much <laughs> Look at this freaky. Look at the rainbow wheel of death. Go away. Go away. I'm so frustrated. So I'm gonna go, cause I'm gonna do with this. I'm so frustrated, I should've been done with this hours ago. But I had a great Mother's Day, it was wonderful. I'm so grateful to Eric for, um, he really like took over parenting duties today so that I could just relax. And that was really sweet. It was fun to make pizza from scratch and make a yummy dinner and just hang out and go to the park. And it was just a wonderful day. So I'm really grateful and happy. I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Go watch the Mother's Day video on my main channel if you haven't already. It's really beautiful to just see through the years of being a mom. I mean, I know I only have a one and a half year old, but I've been a mom now for three Mother's Days because I was pregnant two years ago. And then last year I had him, he's a few months old, five months old. And then this year now I'm one and a half year old. That's three Mother's Days I've gotten to celebrate. So it's really cool to watch through the years. So go check that out. And I love you guys and I hope you have a happy day and I'll see you tomorrow.